What's up dudes? Today we're going to be reviewing the EYU by K6 Pro. A few things that sets this bike apart from the pack is it has a magnesium alloy frame, which is about 33% wider than aluminum frames. It's also stronger. This bike has an unusual folding mechanism, and we'll take a look at the ergonomic seat. It's a little bit different. And it is a full suspension bike with a 1000 watt hub motor and a pretty massive 25 amp hour battery pack. Feels pretty quirky. Normal list price is about 1900 bucks. You could probably find her for a little less in the link below this video. So let's crack this thing open, take a look at it, then take it out for a full review. So as I start to open this bike, it doesn't even claim to be a bike really. Electric vehicle. And dude, check this out. This is the first seat I've ever seen that has an arch to it. It's kind of like a bowl. It puts you down in there. It's wide and I'm really curious to see how it feels. Of course, we get the typical 20 inch wheels with four inch wide knobby tread, 160 millimeter rotors. They're pretty beefy. Come on. I don't know what this is. It looks like sandpaper, does not feel like sandpaper. Looks like asphalt or a little shiny or something. This is the unusual part going on all here. Here's the rear suspension, HLT100. I've seen this shock on other bikes. Doesn't appear to be a ton of travel, but it'll probably be all right. Oh, while we're back here, check it out. The rear light is built into the seat. We'll take a look at that in a few. Plastic fenders, folding pedals, dual crown fork, compression adjustment on the right side. And I'm just noticing the seat kind of has the same shiny material as this portion of the frame. And this whole back part of the frame, you can see like the line down the middle here. And then also back here, see the line? It appears to kind of all be bolted together. Like the two pieces are bolted. I wonder if there's like more batteries in there or something. We can see the Logan hydraulic brakes. What's going on up here? Thick round grips, Logan hydraulic levers. These have been fine in the past. Quarter twist throttle on the right. Eight speeds on the Shimano shifter. Get out. Display is key, Disp peel that off. Big rise, and they kind of sweep back just a little bit at an angle. Lights, horn, wait, another lights? Info, power. Let's crack this open. EUI bike. Welcome for joining us on this special day. What's this? Mini foot pump. I will not be using this today, but not bad to have. And appears to be the same headlight that they had on their pretty cool moped style bike. If you didn't see, I did review another EUI bike, moped style bike. It was pretty sweet. Similar specs as this. This is kind of like the folding version. So they give us a two amp charger for a 25 amp hour battery. And basic math tells us that would take about 12 hours to charge from empty to full. I also advise you don't try one of these unless you have an extra your 60 or 70 bucks to spend because once you try one there is no going back let's run them on 18. like it is front wheel does not have a quick release lever which makes it more difficult for a random person to come up and steal your front wheel but also a little more difficult for you to take your wheel off if you need to all of that took about 20 minutes and putting these final pieces on will probably take me another 20 minutes i don't know why but this is always the most tedious part check it out you put the fender on there and now you gotta like hold this up while you hold this in place and tighten this down all at the same time. I'm getting wiser. 10 millimeter wrench, packing supplies holding it up, power tools. Ready, go. Yeah, buddy. Please work. All right, here we are, 10 minutes later. Put the things on backwards, totally backwards. So I gotta flip flop this to there. Got it, we'll power it up in a minute. But first, here's what a six foot five dude looks like. Sitting on this bike. Seat is unique. It like rotates kind of. And here's what the seat height looks like on max height. I'm 6'5 and I don't even think I could get out of this thing. Oh yeah, I got this. Okay. So here's what it looks like on the tall dude seat on max height. I'm getting this cable tied up. Just throw it back on a minimum. Minimum-ish. So before we fire this thing up, let's see what it looks like folded and what battery we have. First step is this. Apparently we just rotate this all the way. So I think now I should be able to fold it. Probably wanna make sure that thing's screwed down before you ride off. Not a light bike. It's a little bit of a wrestling match here. Oh, you know what? Yeah, just grab it here. Okay. No more scuff marks, please. Not so bad. Doesn't really wanna balance. Eh, that's fine. 
There you have it, it's folded. Now you use the key. Down here, um, I'm a little afraid this bike is gonna just fall on me. There we go, there we go. Um, well, that doesn't make it easy to get the battery out now, does it? You gotta pick the bike back up a little bit, I think. There we go. Check it out, model is listed as Pack FST Samsung, always a good sign to see. Samsung cell, 25 amp hour, 40, 48 volt. Max charge of 48 volt battery is 54.6. Don't ever use a charger stronger than that because that's when things go haywire. There's where I inserted the key. What kind of battery life, huh? Almost full. So I wanna weigh this battery pack actually. It says it's 25 amp hour. Weighs in at 9.8 pounds on my scale. This scale has a max weight of 11 pounds. It's weighing in at nine pounds, 9.14 pounds. So 10 pound battery, basically. All right, let's fold it back out. It's actually not too bad to uh, unfold it all once you get the, once you understand like the rotation process. Do not forget this part. I think I'm gonna give that a little extra leverage. <laughs> That'll do it. So check it out. This seat kind of like give you a hug, so to speak. Look at how squishy it is on the edges. This isn't so squishy. Really excited to see how this feels for a longer ride. Taking a look at the cassette, we get eight gears. And as promised, the 1000 watt hub motor is a 48 volt system. There's all the numbers and stuff on it. And there's not like any branding on the other side that I see. The motor I tried on their last bike was pretty powerful though. It's probably the same exact motor. Let's turn this thing on. Hold down that power button. Basic non-color display. Does show us our watts up here, which I love to see. Battery looks full. Do they give us a battery voltage? Let's press the info button here. Odometer, time, max speed, average speed, trip. Odometer. Uh, maybe we can get into the settings or something. Then you get your uh, probably five blows of pedal assist. Yep. And light switch. Light is bright. It's got this halo effect. Again, don't worry about that consuming battery. It really doesn't. Then you flip it on and boom, big time. So if that's the light button, what does this light button do? Oh, just backlight for here. What about light here? Light on the rear seat? Nah, these buttons aren't doing anything. There's a little switch down here. Ah, I thought it's a switch. Oh, it's a button. <laughs> Maybe there's not a battery in it. Probably need to add a battery or something. Oh no, there's just a little tab thing here you had to pull. It wasn't sticking out far enough for me to see it. But it runs on two CR2032 batteries. There we go. So there's a flashing mode, light up mode. Well, let's see what happens. Pedal assist five. Oh yeah. Straight up to 31. Feels pretty torquey. And that thing zips up to speed. Those 20-inch wheels tend to accelerate harder than 26-inch wheels. Watch the display here when I whip this full throttle. Now. <laughs> so it looks like 31 will be our max. And we get a power gauge there. It's not going to draw much power when there's no load on the motor. I know it's going to be loud. I've heard this horn before. Oh yeah, Warren is right in the light. So let's get it out, see what it's made of. Got a little new addition to the channel today. Since this bike does not give us a voltage, it just gives us a little bar readout. 54.6 volts is a full charge. However, when we get back, we're not gonna be able to know what the voltage is on this battery or what the true percentage is. But with this little tool, we'll be able to take that battery out and check it. Hopping on this, crank this up to pedalus five. Right. All right, let's power the straw up so we can check our distance. Per usual, we'll start out on the 20% hill grade test, see if the spike can do it. Pedal assist five, no pedaling. I weigh 200 pounds, throttle only. What kind of torque are we working with? Pretty strong climber showing 580 watts of output right now. Strong hill climber. Let me get back under. Please, 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 please. So I believe this bike should be like 1200 watts output. So. It kind of reduces your throttle once you start getting your speed down. Why is it only showing 583? I guess we'll find out here in a few. So first thing getting on this bike, first thing I really notice is just how this seat sits. It's definitely got like some play to it and it's like really soft. We'll see like how comfortable it is for the long run, but that is the most significant difference I feel about this bike compared to anything else getting on it. Now, of course you could swap that seat out for anything you want. And right away, I kind of feel like this speedometer is probably reading inaccurate. Actually, I stand corrected. It is reading accurate. This is GPS in my left hand. And I'm not sure why, but yeah, when I'm full throttling this, it basically peaks out on the display at 
577 watts. But I feel like it's probably giving me more than that considering I'm going 28 miles an hour and I'm on throttle only right now. The other major thing I'm noticing about this bike is it puts me pretty close to the handlebars. So this could be a really good bike for somebody who's shorter. Now me at 6'5", I don't feel uncomfortable at all on it, actually. I just noticed my hands are a little bit closer to me than usual, which I actually like. Now this is a full suspension, folding electric bike. Ride it off here just a little bit. Feels quite plush going through here. Just like a pretty typical full suspension bike you know now it's not like a trophy truck but it definitely absorbs quite a bit quite a bit of the impact i have not tried any of the gears yet oh police this is a legal electric bike so the pedals they feel a little bit awkward because they are folding pedals for a folding bike i don't know why the thing's showing 575 peak output i thought this bike was rated for like a lot more we're going into a headwind right now but uh showing 26. oops i accidentally uh pinched that little rubber connector in there when I put the battery back in it should come out Ugh, come out you and go go in there like that you know what that handlebar reach thing could actually just be because the handlebars are actually curved back slightly towards me rather than just straight flat ones like we see on a lot of these BMX style bikes that's a happy doggy hello happy doggy how you doing buddy could we say he's tail happy I don't know can't see his tail all right let's see what this bike can do zero to 20 acceleration i weigh 200 pounds full throttle under throttle only ready go 10 15 18 19 20 22 23 25 26 so after being on this seat for about five or almost seven miles now i feel like it's actually pretty comfortable you know it's not like a performance kind of seat because it squishes around a little bit but i actually feel like just like nestled in there nicely i have never tried a seat like this before but it's honestly not bad at all other things to note this bike does have eight gears instead of the typical seven we see on a lot of bikes so let's try gear one so gear one is actually geared like really well for like climbing hills it's a very steep granny gear let's actually try uh Pedal assist one. Does it give us like tiers of speed? Oh, <laughs> we're hitting 15. We're just gonna have to get around some of these people. What is this tricycle? Let's try this again. Pedal assist one. What's it bring us up to? I mean, I'm already in gear number seven. Yeah, it brings us up to 16 miles an hour for pedal assist one. So if you want something slower, you're gonna need to get into the settings there. Pedal assist two. I'm already in top gear of eight now, and I'll take us up to 19. Pedal assist three. Or getting too fast for out here already let's just put it on five and see if we can do this hill kind of doubting it but it is geared pretty high or oh no <laughs> i wiped out but you know we'll, we'll try it on the flat sand here in a few so of course we do get the suspension adjustments here it has a lot of adjustments which this is like one of the better forks compared to most of the budget friendly bikes i try and obviously rear suspension is basic but it feels nice um i'm not going to be riding this bike down any stairs though let's just get that little bar down there that would definitely i would say hit <laughs> okay all right, yeah, it's got a little bit of dark and there are no um, adjustments on the rear suspension, which is pretty typical. It's a vibe out here today. Always interesting here in Venice. So what kind of pedal assist lag is there? Not pedaling, pedaling, power. Not pedaling, pedaling. That was a rev one over there, I think. Not pedaling, pedaling, power. So there's probably a solid like one second delay until the cadence sensor kicks in does okay off-road let's see how it does in the sand in this test we're going to run from tower 26 down to tower 28 pedal assist five come on like these 26 inch wheels are a little bit more hard to or these 20 inch wheels are a little bit more difficult to navigate this is struggling out here i'm having to pedal quite a bit to get it to go oh man it's just not really quite doing it maybe it is only outputting 530 watts i mean we're getting there i gotta kind of like use my feet to help a little bit but now now once we're on the downhill a little bit it's it's working all right breaking free crossing tower 27 full suspension is making a pretty big difference out here once we're down in the more hard packed sand it'll be like 
18 miles an hour. Oh, I almost missed my turn here. Totally just missed my turn. This thing's fun down here though. Woo! I don't know if this thing's uh, waterproof really. Flip it around, get back here. See if we can get up this little hill. Kind of. So if you're looking for a bike specifically to be riding in soft sand, this isn't your best option, but it can kind of do it. I'm really just pushing this motor all out. <laughs> uh, still full throttle, like just barely moving. Let's see if the controller shuts down on me. <laughs> all right, there we go. Let's just keep it wide open. Controller's holding up so I can take the, the heat in the the load of what I just forced it to do. So I have had some bikes shut down on me under those conditions in the past. This one held up. Seeing a little bit of voltage sag here, four out of five bars showing. It'll probably bounce back. Now this is a folding electric bike, but it does have quite a bit of mass to it. So I don't really know how much folding of this bike and picking up of this bike you're actually gonna wanna do. Let's try out this hill, throttle only for now, doing eight miles an hour 8.6 miles an hour after eight and a half miles of a pretty solid beating getting up to nine miles an hour so pretty decently torquey bike for uh pavement but the motor does kind of it doesn't do excellent in the sand as we just saw brakes brakes feel great hydraulic disc brakes the levers have a nice feel to them i like these logan ones for budget bikes i've seen these on many other bikes i'm happy with them flip through this. Benefits of four inch wide tires. Let's pop it off this curb. Oh yeah, <laughs> all wheel drive, or not all wheel drive, uh, full suspension. Gotta whip it through <laughs> out in the sand. It just doesn't want to do it. It's a lot of fun though, I'll tell you that. Survive. <laughs> Cops are over here jamming. So can it do the California Incline? I'm sure it will be able to, but what speed? California Incline, that is what is called the GTA 5 Hill. 85 foot elevation gain vertical and a 12% grade. We got to get down here to get to the entrance. This is the entrance I'm talking about. The loop-de-loop -loop here. And full throttle now. Nine miles an hour, not pedaling at all. So it's uh, it's pulling us up pretty good. Feels like it's starting to lose a little juice, just a little bit. 10 miles we just crossed over. Loop around this corner. This bike is pretty nimble. Uh, the handlebars turn pretty far for a dual crown fork. Sometimes that's a concern. So nine miles an hour, we'll do throttle only. 16 and I weigh 200 pounds going up to 12% grade. 18, voltage sag down to two bars after 10 miles. 19, so I topped out about 19, pulling about 533 watts. And if you're new here, we were just down there on the bike path and we're in Santa Monica, beautiful Santa Monica mountains off in the distance. You might recognize that from GTA 5 down that way. Going downhill with a headwind. What is the max speed we can get out of this thing? 28 and a half, 28.6, 28.8, 29, 29.2. Now's a good time to try the brakes out. They are great brakes. A lot of mass that these uh, hydraulic brakes are uh, in charge of bringing to a stop and they can do it just fine. What about headed south with a tailwind now on flat ground? Now we can do a little bit faster, 27. The wind makes all the difference. Yeah, it's getting up to uh, 28, 28.2. That'll be enough for me. Give it an official brake test from 20 here. Yeah. They're, they're pretty darn good brakes. Oh, look at the skill. Dude, my kickstand fell off somehow. I came out here and managed to find the little bolt for it. This is, this is crazy. It's because I was uh, popping wheelies and this thing was like scraping on the back. Oops. So final thoughts on the EUI bike K6 Pro. I mean, it looks pretty cool for a folding fat tire e-bike. It is full suspension, which is cool. Despite the seat looking a little bit unusual, it's actually pretty comfy. And they list this bike for $1,700 at the time of this recording. So I mean, if you're looking for a folding fat tire e-bike that offers this kind of stuff, you can click the link below this video and purchase through that link. And if you did buy through that link, it would help support my reviews here at Tallahassee TV. But let's head on home and see what kind of range we get out of this battery. So we're at four out of five bars. The battery is down to one bar under load right now after 14.3 miles with a 200 pound dude using throttle only pretty much all day. Another thing to note is just because it says one bar that doesn't mean anything it really depends on what the voltage is. So let's see if we can check it because even with one bar it is pulling pretty hard still going 26. Can we hurry up and make this? <laughs> 
got it. Yeah, I mean, I guess this is a solid 15 miles of like pretty hard riding throttle only. What is the percentage though? Let's find out. Hey doggy. All right, dudes, after 18.43 miles, hour and 27 minutes of ride time is showing one bar on this 25 amp hour battery pack. Now one bar doesn't really mean anything. Let's see what the voltage is on that thing. Actually turning it off and turning it back on. Now it shows two bars. Still no voltage, no percentage. Spike actually is pretty easy to fold in half because like you just pick it up like this. A lot of these bikes, their folding bikes are way more difficult to fold in half. Yeah. There we go. Turn that key and come on out. Battery. Oh, here we go. Just got to kind of pick the whole bike up here like that. Get a little voltage readout on this thing. Hopefully we don't blow anything up. I'm a little bit scared. It should be all right. I don't know what's positive and what's negative. Oh shoot, I'm an idiot. You gotta do, uh, put it up to 200. Uh, oh, 47, 47 volts. Negative 47 volts that way. So positive terminals over here. A 48 volt at 47 volts is 47 volts. According to a lithium ion battery chart, that would be right around 50-ish percent battery remaining, even though it's showing two bars on there. And that ride I just did was about 18 and a half miles. So, I mean, if you ran the battery from, you know, all the way to zero, riding like a hooligan like I was, you know, maybe 40 miles, throttle only, just whipping it. Pedal a little bit, you know, it'll do better. So, I mean, if you're looking for a folding fat tire e-bike with a pretty big battery, I mean, this one's a fairly stylish option that's comfortable if you want to grab one click the link below buy through that link and it would support my reviews here at tell happy tv and i would greatly appreciate your support however if this is not the kind of bike you're looking for you can watch this video next thanks for watching guys catch you next time